Most gemstones are bifringent. What does that mean? Well, as light enters into the gemstone, it splits into two different rays. And these two different rays travel at different speeds and different directions. And because they do that, you can sometimes see different colours within a gemstone. Think about tanzanites and eyelights where we can, with the eye, see several different colours. But now let's talk about rubies. Rubies, for example, are bifringent, but the angle of difference as the light splits into two is not noticeable by the naked eye. That's where we need a dichroscope to actually have a look at the gemstone, and this exaggerates the colour split so we can easily identify whether a gemstone is bifringent or not. Now, why would you need to do that? Well, with the exception of diamonds, spinel, and garnet, nearly all other gemstones are bifringent. But also, what isn't bifringent is glass and CZ and plastics. So we do need to know how to use the dichroscope because it's a really great way of separating real gemstones from other real gemstones and real gemstones from fakes. Let me show you how to use it. It's really, really simple. Take your gemstone underneath your dichroscope and spin it through 360 degrees. As the light passes up through the gemstone and onto your dichroscope, you should see two different colours in the two windows within the tool. If you don't see two different colours, try turning your gemstone over and putting it back up against the glass of the dichroscope and having a look to see if you can find it. Repeat this exercise four or five times, looking at all the different angles on the gemstone. If at no stage you find two different colours, then you're most likely looking at a gemstone that is either singly refractive or a fake.